Hi all, this is a, a small video I'm going to make about how to install uh, PG Offline FB and load a group to it and then save the group contents to an MHTML file in Word. So the first thing you'll see is that I will have sent you a link to uh, a public group called Lost and Found Picosa and the actual install file for the PG Offline FB program. So the first thing you want to do is, it, is run the install file. That was quick. Um, next, typical install. Yes. We'll not launch that just yet. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to unzip the lost and found file. So we'll just extract here. And that gives us the database. And that, that's basically, it's got the pictures in it. So we need to remember that we unzipped it to CPGOFB. So now we want to start the PG Offline FB program. So that'll just be in, uh, you'll be able to see this. <laughs> oh, here we go, right. So basically, I just, I just went, it's the, the Windows start and it, it was in the list and I was able to, uh, bother. I was able to start it. So now we want to do file, import from folder, browse, and we need to go to PGOFB, right, there it is. So that's it's database.sqlite. So we just choose open, choose that group. So there, there, you, you can export more than one group in a file. So theoretically, you could have a whole load of files, a whole load of groups there. Import, import complete, close. And if we click on that, we can now see all the messages. Uh, is that in date order? No, that's all over the place. Right, so the first thing you probably want to do is you probably want to sort it. And then, if you want to move it into an MHTML file, you just click on any message inside there, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then press Control and A. That effectively does select all. And then right click, show selection as digest. And what that does is it shows you all the messages in the one page. Well, eight pages in this case. Uh, you just change the messages per page to whatever you need to get all the messages into one page because what you're going to do is you're going to do the same. You're going to do control A and you're going to copy the messages into a Word uh, page. So you have to really have them all in the one place first. So uh, it doesn't really matter. You make it 50,000, you make it 100,000, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got messages per page, you really ought it to be as the same number of messages that, that you have in your group. So I think that group's got about 800, but what I should have really done was I should have um, I should have changed it to 800 rather than 5,000, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. Uh, now you'll see it's changed from page one of what page one of eight to page one of one, and that means that now every message in the entire group is on one page. So we'll basically just click on that and then do Control A again, right click, copy, and to start Windows. <laughs> program start. Word, my mistake, sorry, let's pull that down here so you can see it. So we started Word and then what we want to do in there is just paste. Now this can take a while, obviously if you've got 800 messages and you've got, you know, kilobytes and megabytes worth of pictures and so on, get getting it all into, you can actually, you can actually see it there. It's thinking about it, it's basically bringing all the stuff into the into the file. So you need to wait until that. Once that's done, you can do file, 
save as selected messages you just change them to whatever you want um, but the trick is you want to choose oh, this is an earlier version of Word that doesn't have MHT well, if you had a, a version of that, I think this is Word 2003, if you could do Word 2007 my preference would be to save it as MHTML but see this one here, single file web page that will do exactly the same thing so basically that's it saved and if you send that uh, I don't know, go to see file save as you can see that we've saved it as a single file web page and it should be in there as is it selected messages so if we go along to selected messages and yeah that yeah you see there it's in I can't drag it in there, but you can see that it's an MHTML document. So you want single file web page, or uh, in 2003 and Windows 2007, and uh, sorry, Windows Word 2007 above, you want uh, to choose MHTML. So that's it. That's how you get it into a Word document.